The 62nd Annual Primetime Emmy Awards air this Sunday night, and we have two questions this morning that we'd like to answer. Who should win, and of course, who will win? Here with his answers is Dalton Ross, who's Assistant Managing Editor at Entertainment Weekly Magazine, who always brings us lots of good stuff and predict predictions. Good to have you back with Great us. Great to be here, Erica. Hard to believe it's the end of the summer and we're already hitting the Emmys. Already, I know. But so it begins, and we must kick it off. So yep. let's start with Outstanding Actor, in a comedy. We'll take a look at, I think we have a, we can put them all up on the screen. The nominees, who are you thinking this category should win? Well, you know, Big Bang Theory was snubbed from the best comedy category. A lot of people were upset about that. So what I say to you, if you're upset about that, vote for Jim Parsons from the Big Bang Theory. He is a, a the, the breakout character from this show. He's hilarious. A lot of people thought he might win last year. It didn't happen. So I think this could be his time. It could be his time. It may not be. Is it going to be Alec Baldwin? Again, I mean, it, I think he's still the front runner. Okay. He's won the past two years. He's, For 30 Rock, I should clarify. He's still hysterical. I mean, the guy can just arch an eyebrow and I'm laughing. So he's probably the front runner with Parsons as the dark horse. Okay. Uh, outstanding actress in a comedy. This is another really tough category. A lot of great nominees here I mean, when you look at the list. But you know what? I'm going to give it to Edie Falco. I think she should win. I think she will win. If you look at what she did on The Sopranos, won a few Emmys there. Now to put that performance, that iconic performance, completely in the rearview mm -hmm. mirror and do a 180 with this dark comedic role on Nurse Jackie. It's amazing, and Emmy voters love to see that range. And she is phenomenal. That show is amazing. It has this really dry, sort of dark humor to some of the, some of the points of it, and she is just phenomenal in that She role. is, and it's not, you know, it's odd, because it's not a straight comedy, Erica. It's no. very dark in points, but I think people will really respect the range she does with it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we've got that out of the way. Why don't we tie this up? Outstanding comedy show. Another, a, a lot of good ones in the running, but Modern Family is getting a lot of attention. It's interesting. 30 Rocks won the past three years, so you think that must be the front runner? I don't think so. I think it comes down to the two newbies, Modern Family versus Glee. Glee. And I'm going to give the nod to Modern Family. Oh. Glee, fan, Glee fans like yourself, the Erica. Gleeks, the, Gleeks. the Gleeks are very passionate about it, but I think Modern Family, a little more conventional yes. uh, sitcom, broader appeal, amazing cast, sharp writing. I think it's going to be Modern Family. If there were a musical comedy, though, it would be all about that Glee. It would be all about Glee. <laughs> all right. Let's turn out a drama. Best actor in a drama. Um, Breaking Bad. Mm -hmm. uh, we're looking at this really closely. Brian Cranston. Yeah, you know, we talked about range with Edie Falco. Brian Cranston did sort of the reverse. He was this goofball on Malcolm in the Middle. Now he's won twice in a row for Breaking Bad. I think he's, he deserves to win. I think he will win again. The guy it just amazes me every episode that he could play this dark character with such depth and emotion. Uh, obviously, voters have responded to him, and I think they will again this year. All right, now if we look at Best Actress in a drama, of course, a lot of us here at CBS are, are, are pulling for a certain someone in this category. A certain someone named <laughs> Juliana Margulies? Perhaps for The Good Wife? And I think a lot of people at CBS are going to be very happy. I think she's, she's going to win. I think she's close to a lock, although nothing's a lock in the Emmys. Uh, she's a big name from ER in a new show, The Good Wife, that is fantastic. Uh, it's a procedural, but also serialized elements, so it really has a lot of, lot of things going for it. And she is obviously the centerpiece of it. I think she's going to win. It has a great buzz. I have to tell you, I have more people say to me how much they love this show. Met. Whether or not that translates into an Emmy, the buzz that it has among the people who really watch it, it, it's, it's It great. does. It has, it has something for everyone. You want a quick show, it's going to wrap up a case an hour, you're going to get it. You want something that has more serialized elements as well, it has that too. It really does have it all. A little bit of everything. So when it comes to overall drama, best drama, yeah. who do you think um, should, will win? We just talked about how great The Good Wife is, but I don't think it's going to win this category. Um, I think that should win, I'd say Breaking Bad. I, I mean, just the best show on television as far as I'm concerned. We talked about the writing, the acting. The cinematography is amazing. Every shot is a piece of art. It's amazing. That said, mm -hmm. I think you're probably looking at Mad Men again. Mad Men. It's won two years in a row. Voters love it. It's sleek. It's sexy. All those things that they, that they enjoy. And I think... It, it's got the momentum. I think it's probably going to pull it out Ooh, again. Oh, interesting. Uh, finally, so much attention this year on the late night category. I remember when the nominations were released, of course, yeah. the, the collective gasp as we saw <laughs> them. So who do you think could take this home? Because there's some really stiff competition here. Yeah, forget about Breaking Bad and Mad Men. The best drama of the night is what happens in this category because obviously you have – the Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien right. nominated, not Jay Leno, not Conan O'Brien. He submitted himself. It got nominated. Now he could win on NBC for his show that he got fired from. Obviously, he's got a lot of fans that didn't like the way he was treated. And the question is, will they vote with their head or their heart? The head says, 
John Stewart. Yeah. He's won every year since the Stone Ages. <laughs> but, but people with their heart may say, I don't like the way he was treated. We're, I'm going to give it to Conan, and he very well may win. What do you, it sounds like you're saying it's too close to call, though. It's pretty close. I mean, like, uh, Stewart's the incumbent, obviously, but, but Conan, we, we all want to see Conan to win just right. to see what's going to happen. What will they do? Delicious. We'll be watching. You'll be watching, too. Dalton, always great to have you with us. Thanks. Thanks Erica.